In this video, we will set up Google Analytics 4 on your Shopify store using Analyzeify in just a couple of minutes. You do not need prior knowledge, data layers or Google Tag Manager. You don't even need to know your GA4 measurement ID. The Analyzeify system will handle everything for you. In just a few minutes, you will have complete GA4 e-commerce tracking up and running on your store. This includes more than 20 events and parameters beyond what Shopify's native GA4 integration offers providing you with a significantly richer and more comprehensive data set for your e-commerce tracking. Without further ado, let's get started and start setting up GA4 for your Shopify store. So the first step is obviously installing Analyzeify app. You could do it through our website or Shopify app store directly. I'll use the website for now, it's analyzeify.com. And then on the right top corner, there is install now button. When you click, it will lead you to our app store page. And here you will see add app option when you click on that it will install analyzify on your store i'll just go ahead my store and open analyzify app so this is a screen in which we get your contacts relevant contacts which means if you work with an agency marketing agency or a professional or you have some uh, team members on your team that need to stay on top of the tracking topic you just simply add them here let's say my professional agency and then agency adds something and then roll Let's choose marketing manager or whatever. Um, you could add here multiple contacts. This will enable our system or our experts to get in touch with the correct people. Um, once you do that, just simply click next step. And here we are in the GA4 step. As I mentioned earlier, you don't even need to know your GA4 measurement ID. Our system will take care of everything. You just need to have an active GA4 account. Now I made one for, an, for this example. Uh, if you don't have a GA4 account, I have another video that you could walk with me and create this GA4 account. Uh, now that we have two different integration options, Easy Setup will simply integrate with your uh, GA4 property and get everything you need. So I'll choose that so that we uh, make it pretty fast. I'll choose my account that the GA4 is connected to. Here, I need to allow Analyzeify system to, con to connect with your GA4 property. And as you can see here, the authorization is completed. When I click next, I just need to choose the analytics account because obviously your, you might have a couple of analytics accounts. I'll choose this one for the learning purposes. And then you need to choose a property. And within an analytics property, there can be multiple measurement IDs. That's how GA4 works. And here you also need to choose your measurement ID. Uh, once you do that, you simply need to click next. You can also additionally share access with our team so that when you need the GA4 help, when you need help with your GA4 account, GA4 setup, GA4 reports, our team can help you also with the validation. This is an optional step. So either you can share access with our team or not. Uh, in case you need additional help, you can always do this later too. For now, I'll just choose I have shared my access and then click next step. So now uh, this is ready to go. I click save and here I need to choose product ID format. You know, some merchants are using SKU as a product ID or product ID or variant ID. This should, all, this should always match, which is a good practice. So whatever you are using in the Google ads or in your general reporting, you should choose that product ID format. On my example, I'll choose SKU and click next. This is actually enough for my Google Analytics for onboarding. At the next steps uh, of our application, you can also get in, get connected with Google Ads Enhanced Conversion, Dynamic Remarketing, and 10 plus other integrations that we support. For now, I'll skip those. I will leave those for another video because this video is solely about uh, GA4. Here you need to choose your uh, GDPR setting. If you are located in the EU or serve to the EU, you better choose strict so that our tracking will listen to your consent mode, or you can choose flexible, for the sake of this example, I'll just choose flexible and move on. And now we came to setup method. Analyzeify offers two setup methods. One is lightweight, which is new, which we recently launched. And the other is advanced. Advanced is pretty much the old Analyzeify, so to say. It works through Google Tag Manager data layers. It is relatively more complex setup because it, it requires code changes. Um, it requires Google Tag Manager data layers and it is relatively harder to maintain compared to the lightweight. Lightweight setup, on, it, on the other hand, does not use Google Tag Manager, does not use data layers. So you can simply one click install, uninstall, change your ID and everything will start on the spot. If you are using advanced setup, then 
the changes you need to do. Sometimes you need to do changes in your theme. Sometimes you need to do changes in your Google Tag Manager container. So Analyzify's relationship with your tracking is slightly indirect because there is Google Tag Manager in between. But in lightweight setup, everything is very fast, smooth, easy to maintain. Uh, one click install and uninstall. We love this option and it works just great. Um, the reason you might want to choose advanced setup could be that if you like Google Tag Manager, if you want to use specifically Google Tag Manager, that's, that's an option. On the other hand, um, advanced setup offers more integrations. We keep adding more integrations to lightweight, but for now, lightweight setup includes GA4, Google Ads and Bing. For example, if you are using Facebook native integration, then Lightweight is great because Facebook native integrations works fine. But if you want to use Facebook through Google Tag Manager, then you could use Advanced Setup. So we recommend Lightweight to most of the merchants, um, Advanced to those who are investing in data analytics topic, who has maybe experts in the GTM or who needs some specific customizations. Um, even though we also offer store level customizations in the lightweight options. In both options, we have done for you option, expert validation option, so you are never alone. You can always let our team do everything for you, or you can ask validation from our team so that we can double check everything you have done and make sure that your tracking works perfectly fine. Here we have another small option. If you don't know which one to choose, and if you are not sure, you can simply click this, give us access and we will analyze your current situation and then we will get in touch with you. We will do the preferred met setup method according to our experts. So implementation is pretty quick. Now you will see with me. Um, for the sake of this example, I'll choose lightweight setup. And then here we ask one last thing, GA for API secrets. The reason is, you know, in Shopify, we have Shopify um, checkout extensibility pixels and the checkout steps we are sending through our server. So it's kind of a server side tracking through checkout steps. For that, we need your GA4 API. This is very easy to get. Uh, we have a tutorial here and the link details. So you simply need to create one simple thing in your GA4 account and then provide us the API secret so that our system can send the GA4 data directly through our server. So from server to server, it is a server side tracking only for the checkout events. And now here is the setup option. The first option is also known as do it yourself. And the second option is also known as done for you. Analyzify is kind of famous for the done for you setup because we love helping. We do this at no extra cost, but with the lightweight option, uh, do it yourself is an amazing way to do it because as you will see with me now, it will only take a couple of minutes to set up and you will have full control. Plus you can always ask our help, validation, or you can change your setup method. So it doesn't mean that when you choose do it yourself, you are all alone by yourself. We will more than we will be more than happy to help you. For now, I'll just choose start the setup yourself, which is do it yourself option, so that I can show you how easy it is. When I click next, this is where the magic will happen. When I click start setting up Analyzify, our system in the backend will activate the G tag for your GA4 tra tracking and the Google Analytics script, and everything will be finalized. You will only need to do one last thing, which is going into your themes choosing your team and activating Analyzify tracking through your app embeds. Here, this needs to be activated. Once it is activated, and once you confirm that it is activated, in this very moment, your setup has already been done and GA4 is already up and running on your store. But of course, we wouldn't like to risk this, right? So we want to validate, we want to make sure that everything is, has been done correctly. That's why we would like to do a validation, right? So you can either validate yourself by following our tutorials, in-depth tutorials. Again, this is more for the technical folks who wants to do things themselves, but we have an automated option, validation option. If you choose that, what will happen is that our system will go into your store check all the pages, check all the events, and make sure that all the events, parameters, and the integrations are in the place. So this is what happens. Even after you set up Analyzify, you are up and running. This is done in daily basis, and you can always see the results in your dashboard of your validation. Our point here is that we wanna make sure that your tracking is up and running all the time. When something happens, let's say somebody changed your team, somebody switched off Analyzify, or somebody did something wrong, let's say there is a conflict, right? Uh, in that very moment, 
we want to know that this has happened, so our troubleshooting system detects it and informs us through Analyzeify. When I click Start Validation, this will take quite some time because simply our bots now visiting your site, clicking at to cart button, going to check out, viewing the parameters. So this is kind of a uh, nice in-depth technology that we use here. That's why it takes some time, but once it is done, you will see the report here. As you can see here, our uh, validation has been completed. Um, you can see the details here. Analyzify lightweight installation detected. Facebook pixel is not detected. Google Ads is not detected because we haven't chosen those integrations or the store is new, so we don't have the Facebook pixel and Google Ads in the place, but the system only checks the GA4 because we chose the GA4. And then here you will see the details about the GA4, the events, uh, the double counting issues, uh, the required all the events, the parameters, um, and many other things in different pages. So it visits the collection page, the product page, checkout steps, and so on. So now we know that the validation has been completed. That means Analyzify setup has been completed. Okay, oh, let's also verify this um, through Google Analytics 4, right? So let's just visit the store and see if the data comes into Google Analytics 4. Uh, if I just visit my store, the demo store, I expect to see in the GA4 the real-time uh, numbers. GA4's real-time reports are not that accurate, so sometimes it takes a couple of seconds or sometimes even a minute um, for the viewers to be visible here, so do not panic. Uh, it's just a matter of time that it will be visible here quite soon. In the meantime, I can just visit a couple of pages, make sure that my ad blocker is uh, paused so that uh, tracking won't be blocked. As you can see now, uh, me as a visitor is being detected by the GA4. So everything is being uh, done here, perfectly fine. I'll also go quickly to GA4's debug view um, so that I can see, I can show you some of the events that has been sent and how that works. So this is the GA4 debug view. I'll choose my device and let's go to store, add this to the cart. Maybe also let's go to a collection page. Now we view the products. And now here I expect to see these events. View item event is here. Add to cart with it. Um, view item list event supposed to come. Let's see that too. As you can see here, the view item list event. This is the one that uh, comes when a collection page is being viewed. This is one of those events that are not covered in the Shopify's native GA4 integration. Uh, I will also quickly show you, uh, I have another long video that explains Shopify native GA4 integration. I will link it somewhere around. The main cons of the native integration is that it is missing some e-com events. View item list is one of them. Select item, view cart, remove from cart, add shipping info and refunds. Uh, and obviously these are an important set of events, as you can imagine. If you think an e-com funnel and if you remove these events, that funnel will be quite weak uh, because these are pretty important events. Uh, and then no coupon codes in the purchase event, so you cannot track the coupon performance uh, if you use the native integration. The customer's ID, user ID, the product SKUs are not included. Purchase event doesn't work on the upsell pages or, or it has the wrong revenue, revenue number. And then the checkout steps are also limited. It's, it includes only begin checkout event. I should warn you though, by the time I'm recording video, these are the facts. Maybe at the time you are watching this video, this changed. So if you want the most up-to-date information, always make sure to visit Analyzify's relevant page. Uh, there we make sure to give the most up-to-date information. Um, so this was all. Uh, this is how you could use Analyzify uh, on your store for GA4 tracking. Additionally, we do have more destinations such as Google Ads, Pinterest, Bing, TikTok, and so on. We do offer professional support. So in case something is not working for your store, it doesn't matter if it is in the Google Ads or if it is in the Google Analytics. If it is relevant to the tracking, then we take responsibility of it and then we go ahead and we try to fix it. We fix it most of the times because um, our setup is completely customizable and manageable. So we are able to change things around when it is needed. So we solved hundreds of problems so far uh, for 2000 plus Shopify merchants. Thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. In other videos, I will also show uh, some other use cases of Analyzify. I wish you a great day ahead.